please welcome Elizabeth Bramson Boudreau, CEO and publisher of MIT Technology Review. Hello, good morning. It's wonderful to be here and to see everyone uh, assembled in this absolutely beautiful room. On behalf of MIT Technology Review and our partner IBM, I'd like to welcome all of you to our second annual Leadership Summit. We have been looking forward to this event for some time. We gathered about one year ago in Paris and the Paris Bourse, another beautiful room and beautiful space. And we are very glad to be here in Singapore and to have you all here. So as you settle in and prepare for a full day, a really packed day of programming, I want to provide some context, some information to you all about MIT and MIT Technology Review. So bear with me, I've been, I took a long airplane ride to get here, and I will be kicking myself on the whole ride home if I don't tell you a little bit about my business. So MIT Technology Review was founded in 1899 by MIT. We are an independent media company. We are deeply inspired by our connection to MIT and to its mission, but we're independent. We share, though, a belief that technology can make for a better world. But it is not necessarily the case that technology will make for a better world. Not without thoughtful conversation by and with the people who are creating and financing and using new, powerful, and earth-changing technologies. That's all of us. And so that's where MIT Technology Review comes in. We bring to life the conversations on a load of different platforms. In gatherings like this one, which I mentioned we, we did this last year in Paris, we do them all the time, all around the world. On our website, which um, I'm going to tell you what the URL is, it's technologyreview.com. In digital newsletters, we have newsletters that we will deliver to your inbox with the latest in technology journalism. They're free, sign up for them, they're great. And in our print magazine, which you can pick up a copy of uh, while you're here. Across all of these media platforms, our mission is really unified. Again, it's about bringing better informed, more conscious decisions about technology through authoritative, influential, and trustworthy journalism. The range of topics that we will hear about today reflect many of the same themes that we address editorially. In addition to our belief that the pursuit of new technologies is essential to building a better future and to succeeding personally and professionally and navigating rapid technology-driven change, one needs a level of literacy, call it affluency, to grasp how breakthroughs in research will define the future of work and, and lives at home. So today, we are delighted to feature a global panel of speakers, several local experts from private and public organizations, and we hope to gain insights about the research and the business implications of their work. Now, for MIT Technology Review and IBM, this event is really part of a larger story, and it's one that supports a shared goal of propelling scientific breakthroughs and unlocking the potential of AI and related technologies. To that end, in 2017, IBM and MIT launched a 10-year collaboration, which you're going to hear more about later today. It's the MIT-IBM Watson AI Lab. It was a new model for engagement between industry and academia, and the goal was to jointly conceive projects aimed at advancing fundamental AI research. The lab has a project portfolio that spans four pillars, including artificial intelligence, experimenting with algorithms that are increasingly more adaptable to solve real-world challenges, the physics of AI, so quantum computing is one, one such uh, area of focus, Another, which looks at the application of AI to industries, and still another, which is about shared prosperity through AI and its impact in society, including the workforce and ethics. So the program today will really focus and feature on these topics, as well as the critical enablers 
to enhanced computational processes like 5G, open source, security, and blockchain technologies. So we're going to open the day with a look at technology market trends across Asia, and then we will have the pleasure of hosting Singapore's Minister of Communications, Information, and Transport, and we will hear a current view of the remarkable transformation going on here in Singapore. So later this morning, you will hear from experts in the research and business side of cybersecurity, and those folks will talk about, about how to prepare your organizations for cyber attacks. After lunch, there will be two simultaneous tracks. The first track, Tech for Good, it addresses the integration of ethics into AI. And in that, in that track, we will have the honor of Laurent Saveur, who has been on the front lines at the United Nations advocating on the intrinsic connection between technology and human rights. The other track, so concurrently, you can choose to hear about 5G capabilities that will open the door for a new level of industrial and social IoT solutions. And that will be followed by a session addressing the challenges of scaling AI and what it means to actualize on the promise of digital transformation. So then we're going to have a break. Then we're going to have a very unique case study from the chairman of Ligon about a pilot blockchain project and then wrap up the day with a conversation about the impact of emerging technologies and the future of work, which is a very important topic. MIT and IBM are very much aligned in this effort to curate the dialogue of new and emerging breakthrough innovations for the betterment of individuals and society. We invite you to join us, not only today, but in a longer term way. Most of the program today is interactive. Please. Ask questions, use your voice in the Q&A periods of each of the sessions. Join the conversation on Twitter using the hashtag LeadershipSummit19. And now, the opening track, 